I mean, I hate shitting on the game because, yeah, I mean, obviously I couldn't do art like this, but yeah, this is really kind of disappointing. Yeah, it's it's a shame because I mean, I I didn't hate it. I mean, the the I was I was really actually li thinking this might be a lot of fun. To be honest. Yeah. The... That is weird. They changed some stuff though. Like you can't get to the to the voodoo museum or the drugstore. Which admittedly, the first day there was nothing really you could do there at either one of those, other than just like talk to, like right, the, the but... drugstore owner. But that's, I wish I don't mind them changing things. It's just, I don't know. It's so far. Yeah, I'm that not... kind of puts that puts the game on a lot more rails. Seems. Yeah, I guess Jackson Square then. Yeah, uh, Angie, the helmet is the the bookstore. That's where you start off at. So. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> St. George's Books. St. George's Books. Good day, officer. Yeah, you too. Muscle Man, they got him back. And then they changed it to, like, it's not, you don't have to cut scene in every single. Oh, that's neat. You want to eat my fist? Yeah, I remember her from the original. I would if I had enough time. Alright, well. Let's go talk to the mime. I'm sure he'll not do anything annoying. <laughs> See, is that's not really miming anything. You're just following somebody. Hey. Yeah. Knock it off, you, before I shove this washboard down your throat. He's mimicking the silly way that you walk. I guess. Oh, he... <laughs> he fucks with the bands now, too. Yeah, fun. which is actually kind of annoying, because he then just walked back to where he started. Rather than... Well, one know. thing in the original that was annoying about the mime is that whenever he would do something and then somebody would, you know, yell at him, it would stop the gameplay, because it would have to load the, uh, the, the speech. You'll eat my fist, you white-faced geek! Or whatever they'd say. Okay. So we're doing this puzzle a few days early, huh? Mister, you want some of this? Why, you little... <laughs> it's not really miming. It's, he's kind of really piss poor mime as much as he just follows somebody around and then acts... does something that a children child could do as far as, like, Give acting like a gorilla or whatever. And in the game's defense, the original did do the gorilla bit, too. Yeah, no, no, it's it. Oh. I'm not saying it's the remake's fault. I'm just saying that it never really yeah, made that's... a whole lot of sense to me, even back in the day. <laughs> Let's do a very deep analyst analysis of the uh, of the mime scene of Gabriel Knight. Welcome to Mimecast, where we discuss the yeah. Mimecast. JD's mime time. <laughs> Hey, you, get away from that bike. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, we've been lollygagging around with errors and discussion and stuff, but, I mean, getting to the crime scene, that ends day one in the original. If that's the way that it does it here, you get maybe five or ten minutes of gameplay on day one in this one. That's kind that's of crazy. what I mean. Yeah, there's things that we probably could have done at the bookstore that I probably should have, like, um... But on the other hand, you never, like, there was a lot of stuff like the, uh, oh, okay. Now we can go outside of the city, or the, the French Quarter. They got rid of the grandma, they got rid of the, uh, they got rid of a lot of the conversation pieces. Yeah, there's no grandma. It doesn't show it at all. Maybe I... She's like, all right, story's happening here. Go, 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 go. I'm going to go back to the talk with Grace and make sure I didn't miss anything, because I can't. 
I don't. I. I. I refuse to believe they cut out Grandma. So I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. They wouldn't do that to us, would they? I don't see Grandma. She was in the Garden District, and there's nothing there. Yeah. And let's look. I know that there's books that you had to look at in the. Dry Draken. Dry Draken. They still got that. Yep. Oh, they do. All right. So that's something that you actually had to, because the the clock was in Grandma's place, if I recall. Right. It was in the attic. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Kind of creepy though. Who's the author? Heinz Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling this guy was one sick puppy. Oh, he's actually reading it too. Yeah, he doesn't have the the same uh dry draken dry draken creaking in my yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cuz that was when uh Curry just gave up trying to do a you know, a New Orleans accent on he's just going <laughs> full on super villain right I there. I think he gave up trying to do a New Orleans accent before he even took the job, honestly. True. This is true. Uh Hey, that's interesting. Snakes can sense their prey by vibration. By vibration. Did you know that medieval legends about dragons and giant worms are actually... So if there's no grandma's house, then there's no clock puzzle. If there's no clock puzzle, then there's no need for the German-English puzzle. I, I, maybe it comes in later instead, but I, it does seem like this game has changed some stuff for better or for worse, but... Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Possessing means possessed. That's wow. Right yeah, okay. Let me go talk with Grace and make sure I didn't miss, like, a message or something like that. To... I knew it was going to be different, and I even knew it was going to be very different. I, I had no yeah. idea it was they were going to cut out so much, though. This is nuts. Do you have... I've given every... Unle unless we're missing something. I'm pretty sure, that, I mean... Because that's, you... yeah, the, I... I could see it if we if you didn't get the message because she tells you like your grandma had called for you. Same as you. And yeah, that's that's all the options. I think we went over everything. So guess we'll go to the voodoo murder. 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 What do you know about the voodoo murder? Good luck. Oh, they gave her pants. She had a skirt in the, in the original. She's a modern That's woman. It. She's all modern. I guess we could have gone to the church, but there's really nothing to do in the church the first day, if I recall. Oh, we can look at it. Yeah, I've already clicked on the crime scene, so we'll go there. Hey, mostly. Huh? Mate, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Yeah, this is definitely not Mark Hamill. Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you oh boy, I can't wait till it comes up. Uh -huh. People are sick fucks, aren't they? Hey, mostly. Definitely another voodoo murder. Same MO, no freaking clues. I don't know what the causeway is, Angie, but I'm sure oh, it is. Disgusting. It's, I am disappointed in the lack of it too. Isn't the causeway the longest bridge in the uh, country, or the? It's not the world, huh? Exactly the ten expressway. It's a twenty-five mile long bridge that we've got here. Wow. So yeah, you would probably probably see at least a hint of it on anything showing like Pontchartrain. Could be wrong. The 10 Express, day, we Kitty. call it the, what, What's whatever. Going on, officer? Detective the longest family. bridge over water. We got a little yeah, so longest here, in the world, I guess. For you to be concerned about. I see. Thank you, Detective. And good day, gentlemen. Okay. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, they totally washed the colors out on this one. Like her. 
about rapid It's a, fire. I mean, it, I'm sure, I think they're Let's going for a stylistic right thing, then. but... Stick around and take notes I, the yeah, I, I thought it was a lot more effective in the original because there was this whole blue and orange yeah. contrast that worked really well. I was gonna say, and now it's just foo, all, all it orange. It looks more hand-painted. This looks more like photo-referenced and kind of yeah. rushed out or something. I don't know. Just kind of blah. Let's look at some blood. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Yeah, let's do that. And don't miss the the mesh cage with the snake scale, but I bet they took that out too because that's too much of a puzzle. <laughs> no, I've got no way to take that with me. Do you remember where it was? Uh, bottom right corner in the vegetation. Oh, it says vegetation here. Let's go look and see. Gabriel is on the sand and clay shores of Lake Pontchartrain at a site where some poor bastard got to see who the voodoo murderers really are. There's a pattern to the lines in the sand. Oh, I think I forgot something. I forgot to get... Wasn't there a... We need the tweezers and the, the magnifying glass. <laughs> I think Angie is really upset about the uh, yeah, change. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Swamp poncha train. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have to admit, that doesn't really look like a lake. Uh, All I'm... of Louisiana's swamp. Looks like there was something here. I should take a closer look. I have an angry dog. I'll be right back. Okay. Let me know what I miss. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it'll be more geographical inaccuracies and puzzles that have been removed. <laughs> they did change some stuff. The marks are actually deep indentations in a regular mesh pattern. can't even see what I'm trying to pick up. I need a better look. Something small. Uh, yeah. I need some stuff I don't have, so I'm going to go back to, to town, I guess. What excitement have I missed? Uh, well, I, I think I forgot to get the a couple things, so I can't pick up the the Hello, snake scale. Beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you. Riveting. Me. Yep. No, Angie, uh, it's not supposed to be set in the 1960s. It starts off with a newspaper entry from 1993. But you remember, whenever we were kids, you know, the the whole area was nothing but swamps. You remember how it was. We lived in shacks. Electricity got discovered in 2003. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your We all talked with ridiculously overwrought accents. <laughs> I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. I swear, that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, wait, I can hear it now. Tree. Oh my God! You were you were pretty close, yeah. That's pretty bad. I trust you can. <laughs> no, the tweezers. Did you get the tweezers yet? Uh, I wasn't. No, really not yet. I need the. Comments. I'm trying to remember where they're at precisely. I, I think it, they're by the, where the newspaper was. I think that's where you get them. Maybe. I can go through the rest of. I thought. Gabriel can't see any way to pick that. I always thought it was funny. It always made me laugh whenever he would take me. I'm gonna take the tweezers. Like it was a big item of furniture or something that they always used. 
girl wouldn't dare touch Grace's oil paints. Uh, I can't seem to find the... I, I think you're right. I think it was either... It's either on her desk or on the middle table here. Did you just... I, I'm gonna ask, did you try just taking the snake scale? Yeah, it said clicking? that oh, I can't oh, okay. even... He's like, I can't even see what I'm trying to pick up. Which I think there's... Because I think there's a magnifying glass and a tweezer. <laughs> I can see it enough to know that I should pick something up, but I don't know what I'm trying to pick up. There's nothing there, but I know there's something there. <laughs> Come on. It's too hard to grab things in sand. <laughs> it's a shame I had my fingernails removed. <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, maybe it's in the bedroom or something weird. First, I didn't... Oh, there's a flashlight. I forgot the flashlight. Yeah, that is so easy to Come miss on, in the I, original. Yeah, I remember forgetting that several times. Where do you need that? Oh, I'm trying to remember which yeah. you need that. Oh yeah, when you go to the when you go into the uh, the cemetery. Yeah, that's and, right. And you go into the tomb. And spoilers happen. Wait, spoilers happen? God damn it! I didn't need to know that there were spoilers were going to happen. Oh. Gabriel, shut that refrigerator, please. Oh, I can smell it from here. Well, maybe they've changed the puzzles to be more real-world logical. Maybe the tweezers are in the medicine cabinet, yeah. in the bathroom. You know, that, that's where you'd put them, right? That's where you'd probably use them in front of a mirror or something. Well, I think they actually do say, like, if you look at the I'll that them on the movie. table, like, it was, they use it for, like... Up. Uh, book repair or something like that. That no. oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, I got the uh, the hair gel. That's gonna be way more important than the tweezers. So, because well, was... yeah, you don't look like a Catholic priest without hair gel. Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, th though to be fair, no, legitimately, <laughs> that is how the puzzle goes. I remember. <laughs> I uh. <laughs> I, no, I'm saying that for the benefit of the chat. That yeah, no, it's yeah. You, to be fair, he as we were saying earlier before the the stream that uh, previously in the previous game the uh, Gabe looked like a razor head, so uh, yeah. he had uh, his hair was a little bit more out of control than. Would I say it was like a mop meets a pompadour? Yeah, it, it, yeah. it's a razor head with a little bit of fifty style or something like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I am not seeing any freaking tweezers. Apparently, this is the new uh, hunt puzzle of the game. Oh, well, if you want to unlock the tweezers, you've got to pay an extra microtransaction of $5. DLC. In order to beat the game, you actually have to, you know. <laughs> I'll bet you that's a thing one day. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tried to do that. You know, have, if they maybe have I'll, already. Maybe I'll try to do that. <laughs> Okay. See, there's a ashtray here, but it doesn't seem to have anything. Um, there's let's see, register, desk, lamp. I wonder if they kept Bruno. You know, the overly offensive homosexual. Oh my god. It's too bad we're not gonna play long enough. To yeah, because yeah. Part, well, cause I'm really it, curious. I seem to recall. I I got because I I remember seeing him last time I played because, and I only played for like an hour. I think I think I. I think I quit like when I got to day two, so I think mm. I saw him. So I think he comes in on day two, and he asks for the payment. You're right. And you can't sell it to him at that point because no, you don't plot-wise need, need the hundred dollars yet. All right, let's use the ladder. Can you try to look down my shirt one more time? I'm leaving. Just try yeah, maybe there's some tweezers up there. No. Nope. know what you're trying to refresh, and it. Grace won't let me climb the ladder because apparently I'm going to look down her top. Oh. Uh, which is to be fair, I probably would have. To talk to ugly statues. You never know it by the women you date. Oh, what a creep! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what a boorish type they made him. It's, it's been a few weeks. Oh, okay. Apparently, we have to look at the counter to get everything. Yeah, great. Puzzle solved. <laughs> yeah. She was way overqualified. And also the only person who applied. 
All right. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just oh, there they are. The yeah. Let's see them. Uh, oh, and they even give you a ding. Yep. Nice little helpful glint. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. My spare motorcycle gloves. Apparently, I can't take the motorcycle gloves. What about the snow globe? I forget where that came from. No. Nope. Seems like a nice place to visit. Uh, self-help books. Just a bunch of red herrings. Yeah, it's. Someone left those here after Mardi Gras. Keychains. Those keychains were for a promo I tried once, before I realized it was hopeless. I practically own stock. Wait, they're supposed to be St. George's books keychains? <laughs> Local interest piece on the store. It didn't garner the sympathy sales I was hoping for. Well, there's a lot of just useless stuff in there. But we did get the tweezers and then we got the magnifying glass. So now we are ready to conquer day one. All right. So let's leave the click fodder screen and let's go beat day one. Woot. I'll be back later. Have fun. Dang. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm uh, glad I didn't buy this. I'll wait till it goes on sale. Yeah, I, really I was gonna say it might not be worth. It might be worth looking at. If you ever can find it on sale, but if I recall, we... what can you tell me about the bad remake? Really? That's great. <laughs> uh, we haven't done great. that as much as I thought we would, but uh, no, no, mainly because so... this game is not so great. <laughs> it's not great at all. <laughs> so they actually had a little bit of a puzzle, quote unquote, element to the snake scale. Which, by that I mean, it's you actually have to kind of click through these screens to find it. It's just basically you're hunting around in the 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 sand, I guess. Oh, I see. All yeah. Right. So. Oh, is that it right there? Oh yeah. shit! Wow. Yeah. How did you do that so yeah. quickly? Well, I because I. When it's you like you literally just clicked on fucking arrows until you found the blue thing. Well, that's I found it when you were out uh, with the dog, but I yeah that was when I real because like if you just click on it and say pick it up. I can't even see what I'm trying to pick up. It says I can't even see I what I'm trying to look. pick up. So you need to find, get the magnifying glass. Like I think that's the line sort. of the whole game right there. I'm calling that one. <laughs> it looks like a scale of some sort. Oh, <laughs> the Virginia Capers want to be. Uh, Miss Cleo, I was what I was going for, but. Gabriel carefully uses. The well, no, that was the original voice actor for uh, the narration. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this. I think it's a snake the new snake. one. It's got a little bit of we Cleo in her. What kind? And I think we're done with the lake. Because I think that was the only... I'm looking up the voice actors, because I want to know if any of them are the same. God, these stories are all from 2013, they wouldn't know. New Orleans-based video game Gabriel Knight, very loosely. As the New Orleans ex expert, I'm gonna tell you actually, it's perfectly represents the city so much. Oh no, I feel like I'm at I'm at the the Mardi Gras right now. Yeah. Okay, I think we could dish. talk to Grace about research. That doesn't seem to work that way. Tell her to research some stuff and then you can go to bed. I mean, I'm just one flash away from getting my Mardi Gras beads and, you know. Well, 
that's what a little lagney app you know that's 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 a little something extra search for me sure what could you see what you can find out about a woman named malia getty mm -hmm. the name getty sounds familiar what's your interest in her oh just you know stuff about the voodoo murders stuff about the voodoo murders mm -hmm. the murders right I'll see what I can find it's out. It's just not the same. No, no. It's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to... See, I got a lot more than I'd bargained for. I thought that no Tim Curry was the only thing I wasn't going to like about this game. I... I yeah, I mean, I, I... I had watched a trailer for it, this, but I really didn't want to, like, expose... I was... Because I kind of knew I wanted to play it just to see... And I figured that it might be fun to stream it, so that was... Uh... Did they give a reason why they couldn't just use the audio files from the original game? I I didn't do any research into this. I was really trying to do, like, kind of media blackout, just so it wouldn't be... No, I hear you, yeah. But I... I so I don't know. I would... It seems like an awful lot of effort to get actors and, you know, write the script out and just round, you know, round well, up some people to eat all this stuff and right. take that effort. I mean, You've already got the source audio that's done by, you know, I mean, some of, at it least may for just the time. Been, made this thing. It may not have been high enough quality. Like, they may have not have had, like, the master recordings left, so... I guess. The, I, don't, I mean, or may not have had a right to it. You know, it may have been, like, the legal, legality of re-releasing it in a new format like this may have they may have had to pay them again and people like Tim Curry they may have actually had to pay more for Tim Curry to reuse his old voice than to get somebody else to redub the line no I get, I get that possibly I, I don't I mean I, I, I don't I'm know just I mean if it was just an audio quality thing I could I could live with some uh, some graininess on the recordings yeah I would, yeah, I would, or at least maybe have an option. I don't know to like where you can switch to the original, but I, I think you spoke a mouthful when you said budget title art. It, it, that is totally what it screams. I mean, it's not bad for budget title, but it's not. It's nothing more than that. It's like. Right. The, you know, you think that with you know we're going to do a remastered version. You're gonna improve like I said before, it. it's better than I could do. So <laughs> no, and, I, and I, I don't want to mean to disparage the game or the people who made it. I'm sure they did Actually, the best with they swollen. what they could, mm -hmm. but so have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. <sighs> Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a. Oh, it always does that. Never mind. Oh, okay. Did you that line no longer works with the new art. That lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. They, uh, Grace says that the, the hair was standing on end. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't really work because he's got, uh, his hair is now slicked back. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? Oh, yeah, it's too long to stick up. Yeah. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Molly Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is? Hey, far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 West Ingram. That's the Garden District. Estate City. That's all I wanted to know. And yes, my dear, Molly Getty is the most dangerous looking diversion I have ever seen. Ugh, oh, men. I'm listening to the voices right now. Yeah. It's... It's different, definitely. Uh, I, I can't say I'm terribly impressed, but... I don't know. I, was exp I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was expecting a little bit more, I guess. Alright, so we've got Garden District open now. Let's see if we got Grandma. Yeah, let's make sure there's no messages. Or has Grandma been retconned to get dead? <laughs> Grandma done got dead. No, I think she mentions her in the, in when you ask for the messages on the first. Oh yeah, day. you did say that. Yeah. But he says, you know, you should really call. At least I think so. We'll have to go back. To have you tried using the phone yet? Oh, uh, 
Maybe you can. Maybe you have to talk to Grandma on the phone now. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Uh huh. All right. Let's see what's. And no Grandma still. Why, Grandma? Why? Where are you? I want my Grandma Grammy. Grandma does not. Grandma doesn't love you no more. Well, to be fair. I probably deserve it. <laughs> Did you know? Here's a fun fact. In, at the Getty Mansion in the original, the butler was also played by Tim Curry. I think I remember that. I didn't get... He did a, he did a slightly more posh version of his uh, Frankenfurter voice. <laughs> I didn't get to that when I uh, did my, my recent playthrough, just to kind of... May just because I, I got through the first day. I'd like to see Malia Giri, please. I'm sorry, but unless you have an appointment or official business, I cannot announce you. Yeah, he's not doing a Frankenfurter. I don't know what he's doing, but it almost sounds more like a uh, like he's doing a Sulu voice or something. <laughs> it's this. yeah. Let me. I'd really like to see Malia Giri. I told you that unless you have official business with Ms. Getty, oh my. Not let you, in. you can hear it, right? I mean, I'm completely insane. I mean, it's not him, obviously, but... Right. Please let me in. No. Go away before I call the police. Well. Who knew that you couldn't be a scruffy-looking guy in a black leather coat, you know, and just walk up to a mansion and not get seen without an appointment? Uh, well, that didn't really pan out for much, but, um... Well, before we cut the stream, you said you just wanted to do an hour, right? Uh, I'm right now, I mean, I was thinking if it was, we were having a little bit more fun, I think I'd say let's keep going, <laughs> but, yeah. I'd well, not... I'm having fun, but not for the reasons that we were anticipating. Right. Uh, yeah. I want, I want, I just want you to use the phone yeah. at, at the bookstore, and I want to see if Grandma's there. That's not a bad idea. Do we? I knew you'd miss do we even have a phone anymore? Really? I. I think. Let's see. She's got a phone. I think there's one in the bedroom as well. But let me. Gabriel would rather use the phone in his studio for privacy. Still trying that museum, huh? Uh, we're probably gonna be ending a little bit, uh, Angie. We're not quite there yet, but. Yeah, we're checking the phone. We're going to see if Grandma's still around or if she hates us now. I'm not seeing a... F oh, wait. There's the phone. Yeah, they had cords back then, just to remind you. What's a cord? <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do know why, because I'm about three pints down right now. Umpires. Yeah, where is the phone? God, yeah, all right, there I it is. I found it, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. The number you have dialed has been disconnected. Please hang up and try your call again. This is a recording. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no memory or anything like that, so I can't really, without knowing Grandma's number. Well, you dialed 911 and nothing happened. He said, I'll pass, and then, like, if you dial, his, oh. dial the operators, and that didn't do anything, so. Um, I call bullshit. This game's not real at all. That'll be the I just dialed 911 on my phone, and the police are on their way right now. Well, I'm glad that you did it to prove a point. Yes. Uh, <laughs> For Hitbox, I'll do anything. <laughs> For Hitbox. I mean, we are getting paid for this, right? See you later. Uh, See ya. yeah. Good. Um, I'm gonna go to the Voodoo Museum and see if the uh, Doctor John's there. I don't want to. I just kind of. I'm really curious to see if. Uh... Watch they replace Doctor John with the uh, with, with the other the, the assistant clerk. <laughs> they just didn't even bother. They, they just wrote Doctor John completely out of the whole game. And I'll probably take you up on that. No, there's Doctor John. It's like there's no cult, there's no end game, there's nothing. Oh, I gotta hear his voice. Yeah, I gotta hear this. Could I ask you a few questions? That is why I am here. 
Well, he's not doing Michael Dorn. Um, what can you tell me about voodoo? Historical voodoo. Or the voodoo currently practiced in the city. Tell me about it's actually not that far from it. Yeah, I mean, I, I this one, I actually, I like his voice. I think it's actually, it may actually be a little bit better just because you, then you don't have, uh... It's a grassroots religion, formed by the mixing together of many different African tribal religions and Anglo religions. Because, I, I mean, Michael Dorn's voice was so, like, obvious that it just kind of stood out. He doesn't really do oh, a yeah. voice. Michael, <laughs> Michael Dorn is Michael Dorn. Yeah. He, he'll never not be Michael Dorn, no matter what he does. So it's kind of... Uh, it's This one actually kind of works because it's doing it's something similar, but not so similar that you feel like you're getting a bad impersonation like with Gabe. Right, yeah. If I look away from the screen, it works really well. It's just these non-human looking... Well, it's, 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 his, look at, he's like, his head is moving, but the rest of his body's not, so it's kind of... Yeah, I was going to say, even with, like, the seven frames per minute that we're going at here, it's still really apparent. It's like, what's going on with his head? Something's not right here. Yeah, it's like, he he's kind of like he's had a couple to drink already, you know. He's okay, he's not he's not going to fall over, but he's definitely... Well, well he's right in step with us, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can sit here and talk to him for... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna keep talking to him for. I want to actually. I want to turn on the fan and see if the snake uh, goes crazy. I only ever did that on the first day. I never thought to do it while he was there. I may not let you, but. Well, it may not let you. Period. In this game. <laughs> this game. Man, does... that's too close to a puzzle. No, he automatically throws the snake off of him in the. Oh, oh no, the snake's going crazy. We have air conditioning, you see. Yeah, I see. God, it doesn't even look like a cage anymore. It looks like a portrait. Yeah, I can easily see you not. What does this do? It makes the painting move. <laughs> it brings it to life. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Come back again. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed. This is, uh... I am too. Maybe the, we did maybe you see the outside of the the, pl the police station because then you can interact. You can finally get to the beignet vendor. But you don't have to do anything with him except at Jackson Square. Yeah, you just bring him to the police station so you can get into the back when you're not supposed to. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. She's not bad. I don't know. Maybe if I hadn't played the original, I'd... You know. Yeah, and I, and this might be like... We're it, really not the best people to be judging this. We have a lot of nostalgia for this game. Nerves. I think it's... That, that'll probably influence it, but... I can't imagine people, like, going and saying, this is the game I want... That... Even with that, I don't think people looking at this today without the context of the original would say this is a fantastic looking game or that the voice acting is especially good or anything Yeah, like I that. see what you mean. Yeah, it kind of fails on that level of where... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. They took out so many puzzles, it seems like. I mean, day one was just like that. Yeah. And, Mostly, my man. It's you. Guy and it's like what they took out of day one wasn't even really that antiquated as far as uh, no, adventure I mean, there's really, puzzles go. I mean, I guess they're trying to streamline it maybe a little bit, but... Like, I don't know. It just seems odd that they would cut out like things like Grandma. I mean, really, that's that's the that's the thing that kind of annoys me more than anything is just Grandma's gone. I mean, I well, yeah, you, you need Grandma. I mean, no, I mean, we're joking, but seriously, that's like it, well, a lot of what made Gabriel Knight work was all this atmosphere to sort of draw you into the story's universe and make you feel, you know, make you identify with this player avatar that you are. Uh, and now that's all gone, and it's just like okay. 
now Gabriel is going to go to the crime scene, and now he is going to go get his tweezers. Well, and, like, like Grandma, I think, actually kind of was one of the better moments, just because Gabe is kind of such a, not a scumbag, but he's definitely, like, a, a guy who loves, you know, women, and just kind of, he's not really interested in anything other than himself, for the most part, and that's actually, like, she's a moment, she kind of brings you, like, oh, he's a human being, I mean, it's, not a, right, it shows another side of the character, gives him more of a third dimension. Right, uh, and this Angie is... is saying, didn't I say that a lot of the puzzles in the original game were the kind you couldn't figure out beyond random trial and error? I did say that, and I stick by that, but not on day one. Uh, day one, I felt um, they, they scooped a hell of a lot out of day one in the remake here. Yeah, yeah, I'm... I don't know. I I I think I think I'm kind of done. I, I don't know about you, Jack. If if you want me to keep oh, going, yeah, I will. I, but uh, no, yeah. I, I'm 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 done with it too. I, I think I've seen. I've gotten a pretty good idea of. So what final this is rating, about. Uh, ten out of ten. Out of what? Would re recommend. Uh, needs more Gabe's uh, voice actor. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or maybe not. I don't. It, it's G Gabriel Knight one without Tim Curry is hardly a Gabriel. No, I mean it's 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 a really watered down experience. I'm finding it's sort of like Diet Gabriel Knight. Um, you know, it gives you a taste of what the gameplay is kind of like. I guess I don't know, and it doesn't even really do that because I think uh, one of the things I did not like about the original that I think is an improvement in this game. Let's talk about good things. Yeah, yeah. Is that they they stripped down all of the unnecessary icons. They got rid of all that because yeah. they had way too many. Even for a game in the early '90s, there were just way too many. I think the Cycling average through for, like having to get to the lock icon, you either had to scroll right. all the way to the top of the thing, or you had to like right click for like six or eight times just to right, go like exactly. you know. And then if you over clicked once, then you had to go all the way back or go again, go back up to the top and change out the icon and it was it was such an ordeal it was and there were a lot of things that were only used legitimately maybe two or three times in the right. game to actually progress the game and the rest of the time it was just a red herring icon it's like oh well maybe you can move something with the nope you can't move that and there were then there were things like can you move are you supposed to move the clock hand or are you supposed to operate it so it just caused a lot of confusion yeah a lot of times I, I, I was, I'm, I mean, there is some things like that I think, you know, like that. I, I mean, I think the having like the journal, you know, is probably a good thing. Though, actually, something I'm noticing that they're missing is they don't have the tape player anymore. Mm. Oh, is, yeah, you're right. Because that was never, I mean, it was something that was kind of like an optional thing. It was, but if you ever like accidentally miss something, it was nice right. that you could go back and listen to old conversations and, like, you know, have somebody... That was another thing I hated about the second game. That in the, On the first day, they made the tape player part of a puzzle where you had to use different... I think it was either different tapes or one tape. Anyway, you had to cobble together a sentence from all of these different recordings, use, picking particular words, and there was absolutely no cues, at least none that I could find, that told you that you had to do that. Yeah. I'll, and it was so poorly and awkwardly executed. Yeah, I seem to recall that was the one that frustrated me. Um, there's that in the very end of the game when you're using, like, wolf vision or something like that. That one was... Oh, fuck that part. That part was terrible. Um, but I, I wonder how this game handles the uh, the voodoo writing. Uh, like, when you're on the, the writing on the crypt wall... You... Yeah, I'm going to make a bold call here. I bet they cut it all out. I bet they cut that out as well as the Rada drum codes. I bet none of that made it into this. I wouldn't be terribly shocked. If, or at least if they did, it's it's going to be like... You're going to have like... It's going to be like... You're going to have all the words and you just have to drag them in, into place or something like that instead of having... Right. The, you know. or, or it'll be like something like, you know... Gabriel needs to send a message to tell them to bring the Seiki Medul, I mean the small coffin, to the conclave. How are you going to tell them this? Here's the words. Bring Seki Medul to conclave. Don't come around 
the you know and then it's yeah. just a bunch of words that have nothing to do with it <laughs> yeah i don't know I, I'm, it's been yay I, I, I'm being ridiculous, <laughs> I guess, but. no I, I wouldn't be surprised if like yeah if it's something like that where you just have i it, i don't know this it's i understand that the 1990s adventure style game probably hasn't aged well for most people people you know like well it hasn't aged well for anybody uh i mean let's let's be fair it, right. there were a lot of really bad decisions they were not fun in a lot of ways and there's a reason and why I they think died doing out. away with those was a good was a good move but and i think that uh it, it's i mean and there's a reason why i think they died out and i think especially like the sierra style um was probably like that was one of the more clunky compared to like when you go to like look at like what lucas arts was doing just a few years right later. yeah but i i think i think the the next evolution of adventure games uh is the way that telltale games have been doing it yeah with, uh they did back to the future they did the monkey island expansions they did uh walking dead. oh they, they've been walking dead right uh yeah. and i mean yeah th there's some flaws in there yeah but th this right here this remaster i was i was almost expecting it you know uh graphics shots notwithstanding to be kind of more along those lines i was i'm actually kind of disappointed that it wasn't changed more it's like they changed all the wrong elements to improve on the game for a modern audience yeah it's basically like it, it's it seems like it's too it's gonna it's too similar to for like to i think it's gonna you know it's not gonna bring in new audiences and i don't think it's gonna impress the fans of the original it's nearly i don't want to say it's a failure i'm sure some people are going to get some enjoyment out of this and like you said i mean they're doing stuff that i couldn't do you can do whatever but right uh, i i don't i'm not impressed so and i mean we're only on day two so we really can't form a fully right. backed up opinion but from what i've seen so far it seems like that they kept the outmoded elements of the early 90s adventure games so you're appealing to that crowd but then they scooped out all of the uh, all of the things that made 90s early 90s adventure games early 90s adventure games so you're alienating that crowd and then you're alienating the modern crowd by being like wait what's all this you know static screen click around bullshit so it, it seems like they're pleasing nobody with this uh, unless you just got the biggest hard on for Gabriel Knight, so you'll eat up anything that has the the, the product line on it. And to be fair, that's why I bought it. I mean, I was really kind of like I was hoping that maybe this might lead to like a, a new game, like you know, if it does well enough. Yeah, and, and I'll be honest, you you were my guinea pig for this. When you said that you were buying it, I was gonna buy it, but when you said, I was like, okay, no, I'm gonna see what you know. He's gonna stream it. I'm gonna see what it's like. No, and then and I'll buy it. If and it that's looks cool. And uh, that's part of the reason. And I don't I think I'm spoiling anybody on my life here if I tell you right now that I I don't think I'm going to be buying this. No, I I'm gonna say right now if you're if you're the, you're just getting exposed to the Gabriel Knight universe right now if you're watching this on YouTube. Because I'm pretty sure most of the people watching it in the stream right now are probably, you know, have uh, have have either played this game or are probably not likely going to play it, you know, anytime soon. Um, right. Yeah. They, they, I would say, go out, pay the five dollars for the original version on GOG, and be happy with that version. Because this, yeah. it's definitely not worth the twenty dollars it is, you know, right now. Just, it's not. Oh yeah, no way, no way. This uh, maybe if yeah. it, if you catch it on sale someday, it's you know if it's like a five dollar you know sale or something like that on Steam, maybe go for it. But right now, don't. And I mean, feel feel free to disagree with us too. You know, it's, oh yeah, let us like know. A, <laughs> like I've acknowledged, we we've barely given it a chance. We've gotten a day two, but just what I've seen, they they. Took and we were rushing through. We're not. Try I mean, we're trying. I mean, obviously, Jack can't hear what's going on, so we're I'm not trying to like go through the conversations and really absorb every little detail. But but once again, even with the conversation with Grace, it looked like there were a lot less choices for conversation topics. I, I want to say there were a whole lot more just right out the gate uh, in the original game. I don't remember a whole lot more, but I it's. Been, I wasn't really paying attention for that. As far I as could it. be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I know that that conversation list got. Uh, I mean, it, it was almost up huge. and down the entire screen by yeah. the end of the game. 
I, I mean, it's one of those things, like, I could see why later on, like, you know, they have so much, it's basically two small portraits and then, like, a big long list, because you have to fill up that entire black yeah. screen. Yeah, Shot and Jaeger and Rada Drums and Animal Masks and Voodoo Murders and, you know. What do you know New Orleans. Voodoo Murders. Voodoo Murders. Well... <laughs> I think we're going to call it quits, folks. Um, thank yeah, you for joining. That's a good stream. Um, if you like this, let me know. If you uh, want to see more streams, preferably not Gabriel Knight, uh, Agreed. we might do something in the future. So, uh, this wasn't the. This is my first stream, so a little bit of, uh, you know, apologies for some of the bugginess and. Uh, no, I think you did fine. Frame rate not being super great, but uh, well, yeah, frame rate. That's another story, but yeah. I think part of that's just <laughs> my my my, uh, my ISP, but we will uh, we'll uh, get it sorted. Yeah. So, anyways, I think we're gonna call that a night. So, have a good evening. Have a good Gabriel night. Really.